I love you. Bye, everyone. <laughs> we just got here. All right. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Today we're talking about the best tires for your Class B RV, specifically the Thor Sequence and Talaro models on the Ram Promaster 3500 chassis. Here we go, woo, transition. Wow. We're back. <laughs> right off the bat, we will tell you what they are so you don't have to like sit around and watch a whole video if you just want to know what they are. What are they? Chonky tires. <laughs> <laughs> what are the tires that we have? They're BF Goodrich KO2 all terrain tires. Yeah. Baja Champion. Yeah, so we have the, all, the infamous BF Goodrich KO2 all terrain tires on our van. They have been absolutely amazing, but we're going to give you a little bit like deeper dive into how we came about putting them on the van how, and why. Our little story of why, and then also things to look for when you are upgrading these tires, because I know there's been some issues with people getting too big of tires put on and then rubbing up again. So ways to avoid that, what size you need to look for, all that good stuff. Thor sequence that we have, they come with a pretty generic, you know, city highway tire. Not a lot of tread depth. We had some issues with them. Let's say that. But our first experience <laughs> with the road tires that came with the van was when we moved out of our apartment and moved into our parents yard for two weeks while we were getting the van ready to go my dad had picked out a cute little spot for us to park the van for Beautiful two weeks place. we drive into the spot and our van immediately starts sinking <laughs> into the ground yeah. here's a picture <laughs> fail F epic <laughs> fail uh so yeah our van starts sinking into the ground we're trying to drive out of the sinking hole and we absolutely cannot our tires ourselves deeper our front tires are spinning so that's when it kind of clicked in my brain that we should be we should have all-terrain tires because we haven't even started our trip yet and we're already like sinking into the ground Some flat ground just like sinking into the ground with no traction john was still kind of opposed to the all-terrain tire upgrade because maybe you have a truck or you've driven next to like big trucks with off-road tires on them on a highway and you can just hear the whirring like the of the treads as you go Ooh, at high speeds that's a nice sound <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And I just didn't want to be like on the road for eight, 10 hours a day just listening to that road noise from these off-road tires. So to counter that argument, I found a really great video online of this guy and I will put a link to the video in the description of the video I'm telling you about so that you can watch it as well and so that I can give him credit. Uh, I saw this video of this guy driving his Ram Pro Master with his all-terrain tires through like nasty slushy snow and he was like maintain the momentum, maintain the momentum. Gunning it. <laughs> and he was like driving through absolute garbage yeah, and uphill. With, with these tires and I was like okay babe we need these tires. <laughs> As we were traveling, we were in Bighorn National Forest in Wyoming, which is like one of my favorites BLM or national forest places. Gorgeous. Which is one of my favorite national forest places to camp. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. We camped on a cow pasture. Yeah. When we first got there, we were a little bit too... Uh, Try to go a little too deep into yeah, and we, the land. We went very uphill and we hit a rock and the wiring harness from our generator got ripped out. At the end of the whole ordeal, I was like, okay, John, I'm not asking anymore. We're getting all-terrain tires <laughs> because- let's, let's figure this out I want, situations. I want to do more of this camping. I hate looking at a spot that we could camp at, like seeing it out in the distance and being like, I don't know that we can get there or that we can get out of there once we get there. Yeah, and I'm paranoid enough about just driving like around neighborhoods and getting a nail in my tire. When you start getting into some of these national forests and it is nothing but like chunky rocks and gravel is just like racing through my mind the whole time and these you know ko2 tires have this just thick thick 
tread on them where it's like nothing is going to be puncturing those. Just to have that peace of mind is gonna make it worth it. What we did was we, this is while we were traveling around the country, we ordered our tires off of Amazon, which I will put a link in the description below for where you can find these on Amazon. And also at the same time through Amazon, got them shipped to a Pet Boys and a service date and time set up. You're able to buy the tires, have them shipped to an installer, set up an appointment with that installer, and then just take your van. The tires are already there. You already have an appointment and you are ready to go like in a couple of clicks. Um, everything is done through Amazon's website. You're not like directed to Pet Boys to make an appointment or anything. It's all done through Amazon when you order the tires. So John's gonna give you some details about the exact size of tire that you need for a Ram Promaster 3500. Yeah, so again, as I mentioned before, if Bonnie didn't cut it out, like I'm kind of a tire nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I probably cut it out. Yeah. So let's go through what size tires you need, because this is super important. And it's something when you go to place an order for these tires, you want to make very sure that you are getting the right size. We looked into the possibility of getting possibly a wider tire uh, than what was installed from the factory. And there's a few different issues that arise when you look into getting a wider tire. The size that comes on this van, if you were to look on the sidewall of the tire, it says they are an LT225 slash 75R16. That is the stock size that comes on the ProMaster 3500. I've just decided I'm gonna, while he's talking, we're gonna put a picture of a tire right here and we're gonna draw lines. Or we'll even find a picture that shows all these things. Oh yeah, yeah. LT, which stands for light truck, 225 is refers to how wide the tires are. So 75 <laughs> is refers to the height. So, you know, how much rubber is going around the wheel. The R refers to that they're a radial tire. That's the actual construction of the tire. 16, which is how big the rims are. Like the actual wheel is a 16 inch wheel. Um, and those are the main things you need to know. Yeah, and I know that this has been an issue with people um, trying to get these tires and put them on their Ram Promasters. And I believe when we, when I had first looked at getting these tires, they didn't make them in this size. And, on, and then when on, I decided that we wanted to get the tires and do what we needed to do to make them fit, when we looked it up, BF Goodrich had in fact created these tires for in the right size that we actually needed. Yeah. So if you're doing some research on YouTube or online about getting these tires and you're seeing stuff where you have to like file down the, the rim around the tire to make it fit, that is not the case anymore. BF Goodrich does in fact make these tires in the correct size where you don't need to do anything like yeah. that to yeah. the van. They obviously saw a need and fill it. So that stock size is available. Um, they are also severe winter rated. I'm not sure what tests are done to all give the them tests. all the tests. All the tests are done. Um, and they are also, <laughs> I don't know what this means either, but I'm just giving you facts at this point. Fact. They are three peak mountain snowflake status branded. Whoa. So basically you can use them in snow as well. Yeah, tell us about the road noise, John. I was incredibly surprised that my initial reaction to driving on these tires were that they seemed actually quieter than the stock highway tires that came with the van, which blew me away. The van immediately felt more solid in the, the steering and just the feel of the van overall. Something to note also about these tires, and it's kind of hard to tell from like looking at them online, but one side of the tire is gonna have the logo typed in white letters, and then the other side is gonna have them in black. So if you're like, you know, you want the all black look like we wanted, you just have to make sure to tell your installer that you want the black facing out and the yeah. white facing in. Uh, even something else to note is that 
it's also just super easy to like get on our leveling blocks now. So if you have the Thor Bonus. sequence, yeah, if you have the Thor sequence or any van for that matter, you know that it doesn't come with like leveling jacks. You have to use leveling blocks and just drive up onto them. With our, uh, with the stock tires, we would just spin and we I broken- just slip and shoot blocks <laughs> out the back and like- We've broken so many leveling blocks just trying to like get on uh. top of them. But when we got these tires installed, it was, it's super easy to get on our leveling blocks now. It just grips them and yeah, climbs it just grips right up. And rolls right up. And then our last little like side note about tires and rims and all that is I keep getting questions about the rims that we upgraded to, mm. and we didn't do very much of anything. That's John's little project. So our rims are the color they are because they're coated in what is called Plasti Dip. And you Plasti Dip. Can, yep. And we'll put a link below to where you can purchase on Amazon. You can also buy it at DipYourCar.com. And it's just a little spray that just peels right off when you're done with it. It's not paint, it's not anything custom, it's just a spray on plastic coating called Plasti Dip. So that's the secret to our black rims. Thanks, John, for doing that. Welcome. You're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> Hope so, you enjoyed our tire video. Yeah, if you enjoyed our tire video, if this was helpful at all, if uh, you're gonna buy some tires, make sure you smash. I'm just kidding. Don't. Politely tap the like button. <laughs> Politely tap the like button. If you'd be subscribe so to our channel. You. Down below, again, we have the links to everything that we chatted, up, chatted about in this video. Anyway, we really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Come back soon and we'll make more videos for you. Let yeah. us know if you have any questions. We're headed to the beach. Bye! Bye.